It's early morning. You're sipping your favorite coffee, scrolling through messages when suddenly you receive a notification that makes your heart sink. A friend's passive-aggressive comment, a colleague's critique, or maybe even a stranger's harsh words on social media. Just like that, your day dims a little. Facing toxic people is a challenge we all encounter, but our responses can completely shift the dynamics. Imagine if a single negative comment was like a thorn in a beautiful rose garden, pricking you unexpectedly. But what if you could not only remove the thorn, but also use it to plant seeds of resilience and wisdom? Here lies your power, seeing that thorn and deciding to transform it into something that nurtures your growth. It's about understanding that harsh moments often reflect more about the other person's internal battles and insecurities than about you. In his book Meditations, Marcus Aurelius shared timeless wisdom. When someone blames or criticizes you, look deeper into their soul and see what kind of person they are. You'll realize there's no need to be anxious about their opinions. This perspective invites us to look beyond surface interactions and understand the deeper motivations behind others' actions. Confronting negativity also presents an opportunity for self-reflection. I challenge you to dive inward, stripping away expectations and societal masks. What truths about yourself have been shadowed by others' judgments? Are you letting someone else's negativity define your day or your worth? Let's embark on this journey of self-discovery together, finding strategies to deal with toxic individuals while strengthening our sense of self. 1. Self-awareness. Have you ever met someone who seems to push all the wrong buttons? We often call these people toxic because their negativity spreads like smoke, clouding our vision. But what if I told you there's a way to navigate this smoke without losing your way? It all starts with self-awareness. Just as knowing you're allergic to smoke makes you avoid it, understanding your responses to toxic people empowers you to keep your emotional distance. An old fencing master once taught that the real skill in fencing wasn't just in attacking but in knowing precisely when to dodge. Each time a toxic person lashes out, picture yourself executing a perfect sidestep. You don't absorb the blow because you're aware of your own boundaries and respect them enough to not let anyone cross. This doesn't require anger or a counterattack, just a quiet, unshakable knowledge of who you are. Incorporating this understanding into your daily life isn't as hard as you might think. Consider it like tying your shoes, initially something you focus on, but eventually it becomes second nature. When dealing with negativity, take a step back and ask yourself why this bothers you or what you can learn from it. These questions aren't about making excuses for others, but about reinforcing your own mental fortitude. Understand that this path will not be free of obstacles. Self-awareness and navigating others' negativity is no fairy tale. There will be days when it feels easier to just react, to throw back what was thrown at you. But that's a fleeting victory, one that feels hollow because it betrays who you are. Each time you choose to respond rather than react, Remember you're not doing it because it's easy but because it's right for you. This is about building a fortress within yourself, not from arrogance but from strength and calm. It's not about ignoring negativity but acknowledging it without letting it define your actions. Embrace the challenge. It sharpens you, makes you more resilient, and undeniably stronger in the long run. 2. Forgiveness and Memory Look up at the sky and notice how stars shine bright despite the surrounding darkness. Think of these stars as people who add value to your life, illuminating your path with understanding and empathy. On the other hand, there are black holes, representing toxic individuals who pull you into their darkness, stripping you of joy and energy. So, is there a way to navigate this cosmic dance of relationships without getting sucked into these black holes? Picture yourself as a spaceship fueled not by hydrogen but by courage and wisdom. This courage is your forgiveness, the power cell that absolves people of their faults and lets you soar higher than any toxic influence. It disentangles you from the gravity of resentment that chains you to painful memories and grudges. Yet, every spaceship needs a navigational system. This is your memory, the keeper of life's lessons, 
the silent whisper reminding you to take a detour when a known black hole looms in your path. Our past encounters with toxicity aren't shackles. They're points on a star map guiding us towards safer orbits. Each lesson learned from dealing with a toxic individual, each overpowering emotion felt, becomes a beacon reminding us what to avoid and shaping our interactions. This combination of forgiveness and memory is the compass guiding us through the complex constellation of relationships. Reflect on your journey through this celestial dance. Who are the stars illuminating your path? From whom do you need to divert like avoiding a black hole? Use your forgiveness as a fuel that propels you forward and let your memory help you navigate to avoid repeating the same patterns. In this intricate ballet of life, let's aspire to be the spaceship that forges its path through cosmic chaos with refined grace, driven by the power of forgiveness and guided by the wisdom of memory. 3. Emotional Stability Navigating life surrounded by toxic individuals can feel like trekking through a dense fog. You lose sight of where you're headed, and every step feels uncertain. But what if I told you there's a way to clear the fog? It starts from within, through the strength of emotional stability cultivated by stoicism. Think about that one person who, no matter the chaos, never seems ruffled, like a mountain standing firm against a raging storm. This isn't about being indifferent or cold. It's about recognizing that the only thing truly under our control is how we respond to the outside world. Stoicism teaches us that our power lies in our reaction, not in trying to control the uncontrollable. When faced with toxicity, channel your inner stoic. Instead of engaging in the drama, pause. It's like being in the eye of the hurricane. Everything's wild on the outside, but here it's calm. This space allows us to breathe, think, and then act from a place of rational calmness. It's about shifting focus from what's happening around us to how we're going to let it affect our inner peace. How do we achieve this? By practicing mindfulness. Yes, it's tossed around a lot these days, but here's the real kicker. It works. Mindfulness lets us detach and observe the chaos without getting sucked in. It's not about ignoring toxicity, but acknowledging it without letting it dictate our peace. It's realizing that, much like clouds in the sky, these moments will pass. So, the next time you find yourself amidst negativity, remember you're the architect of your peace. Build it strong. For setting boundaries, imagine stepping into a world where every interaction is like a brushstroke on the canvas of your day. Some strokes are vibrant and uplifting, enhancing the beauty of your existence. Then there are those strokes, dark, heavy, and inconsistent, left by toxic people. These interactions don't just leave a mark. They alter the entire masterpiece of your day, your mood, and even your self-perception. Think about the ancient Stoics. They were masters of their minds, not by avoiding adversity, but by fortifying their inner walls. They knew that not every opinion, critique, or negative energy deserved their attention. What if dealing with toxic people could be approached with the same stoicism? It's not about building an impenetrable wall, but about choosing which gates to open and when. This selective openness doesn't make you less of a person. It makes you a curator of your own peace. Picture your energy as a limited, precious resource, like water in a desert. Every interaction is like giving a drop of that water away. Would you rather give it to someone who plants seeds in your desert, making it bloom, or to someone who lets it evaporate under the scornful sun? Setting boundaries is about investing your energy wisely, not with arrogance or disdain, but with the calm resolve of a stoic who knows their worth and the value of their time. It's about calmly communicating where you draw the line because your peace is not up for negotiation. View each day as an opportunity to paint your masterpiece, to invest your energy where it grows wonders. Remember, respecting yourself enough to set boundaries is not an act of aggression. It's an act of self-respect and wisdom. Start today not by cutting people out, but by delineating where your garden ends and the wild begins. Watch how the landscape of your life transforms. If this video resonates with you, let us know in the comments, Give it a like to spread its message, 
and don't forget to hit subscribe for more insights. 5. Energy Intelligence Have you ever shared space with someone whose energy feels like a thunderstorm, turning your sunny day upside down? Navigating the choppy waters of interactions with toxic people can test even the calmest minds. But let's turn the lens inward and explore the concept of energy intelligence as our compass. Think of your energy as a protective barrier, much like an ancient city wall, preserving your peace and keeping out unwelcome negativity. Now, consider the power of choice in these situations. Just as you decide what fuel to put in your car, determining its performance and longevity, you hold the power to select how you react and engage with energy-draining individuals. Responding with patience and understanding or choosing not to engage at all can be your super fuel, optimizing your emotional well-being and keeping you on a steady course. This isn't about avoiding conflict. It's about arming yourself with wisdom and making choices that align with your peace. Harnessing this intelligence goes beyond mere self-control. It's about creating a space around you that is so grounded that even the mightiest storm can't shake your foundation. Like a tree deeply rooted in the earth, you are immovable. Not because the wind isn't strong, but because your roots go deep. The next time someone's negativity threatens to disrupt your day, envision yourself as that rooted tree. You'll find that not only do you remain steadfast, but you also inspire others to stand tall in their calm. If you found this video helpful, share your experiences in the comments, give it a like to spread positive energy, and subscribe for more empowering content. 6. Focus on goals. When you set your eyes on something you truly want, like mastering a new skill, reaching a fitness goal, or advancing in personal projects, it feels like you're on a clear path. But then, you encounter people or situations that dampen your spirit, like a gust of wind redirecting a paper airplane. Take the story of Jordan, who was all in on starting a small online business. Despite skepticism from friends and family, Jordan focused on refining his skills and building his business step by step. What can we learn from Jordan's journey? A steadfast belief in one's vision and a refusal to let negativity derail one's path. This approach applies to dealing with toxic people too. The Stoics focused on what's within our control and changing others isn't in that category. However, managing our response is Maintain a mental barrier to ensure negativity doesn't cloud your judgment. Imagine a raincoat during a downpour. It doesn't stop the rain but keeps you dry. The next time you face skepticism or negativity about your plans, think of Jordan. Redirect your energy into fortifying your path, offering a smile and a nod, and carrying on with your endeavors. Your goals matter, and no amount of negativity deserves space in your thoughts without paying rent. Embrace stoicism, focus on your actions, enjoy the process, and let dissent become a mere whisper in the background. It's your journey, and you are the sole navigator. 7. Seeking support. Occasionally, we encounter someone who challenges our peace of mind on every level, making us feel stuck in quicksand. This is the complex dynamic we often face with toxic individuals, a test of our patience and stoicism. But reaching out for support in these situations doesn't show weakness. It reveals wisdom, like a single candle breaking the darkness. Sharing your struggles with someone who understands can illuminate paths you didn't see before. These are the people who strengthen our resolve, not by fighting our battles, but by reminding us of our mental fortitude. Imagine having a wise elder in your corner, offering advice drawn from experience. That's the kind of invaluable support that helps us navigate toxicity with grace. Harness the stoic strength within by recognizing when external perspectives can help. While we can't control others' actions, we can control our reactions. Stoicism teaches us to detach and see situations from a higher perspective, like zooming out on a map to find alternative routes. Seeking support allows us space to breathe, reflect, and choose responses that align with our values and peace. Think about your encounters with challenging individuals. Have you tried going it alone, or have you reached out for supportive perspectives that could change everything?
The true mark of a Stoic isn't silence or solitary suffering, but knowing when and how to engage wisdom to walk the path with greater ease and understanding. 8. Control of Negative Self Imagine you're in a boat, sailing through the waters of daily life. Sometimes the sea is calm, and sometimes it's stormy, with waves of negative self-talk threatening to capsize your vessel. Dealing with toxic people can often amplify these internal storms, making it harder to navigate. But what if you had a lighthouse guiding you to safer shores? That lighthouse is your inner control, grounded in stoicism. The ancient Stoics taught that our perceptions shape our reality more than external events. It's not the storm but our reaction to it that determines whether we sink or sail smoothly. Think of negative self-talk as a mischievous gremlin trying to steer your ship off course. Acknowledge its presence but don't hand it the wheel. Practice mindfulness to stay anchored in the present, observing your thoughts without judgment. Remind yourself that you are the captain of your mind and you can choose to steer towards positive, empowering thoughts. When you encounter toxic people who trigger negative self-talk, visualize their words as leaves floating on the surface of the water, momentary disturbances that don't reach the depths of your true self. Embrace the stoic principle that while you can't control the wind, you can adjust your sails. Strengthen your inner resolve to remain calm and centered, ensuring your boat stays on course no matter how turbulent the waters may get. 9. Solution-Oriented Approach Consider yourself in the midst of a complex puzzle. Toxic interactions can feel like pieces that don't fit, frustrating and perplexing. But what if, instead of focusing on the frustration, you shifted your mindset to see the bigger picture? Adopting a solution-oriented approach, inspired by stoic wisdom, allows you to do just that. Imagine a wise carpenter faced with a seemingly unsolvable problem. Instead of dwelling on the obstacle, they calmly assess their tools and materials, methodically working towards a solution. You can apply the same principle to dealing with toxic people. Start by identifying the root of the problem. Are their actions stemming from their own insecurities? Can you address the issue directly or find a workaround? By focusing on what you can control and seeking constructive solutions, you shift from a victim mindset to an empowered state. Picture every problem as a challenge with an array of potential solutions waiting to be discovered. Reflect on past interactions where you successfully navigated difficulties, drawing lessons from those experiences. Engage with toxic individuals by calmly presenting solutions or removing yourself from the situation if necessary. Embrace the stoic approach. Obstacles are not blockages but opportunities for growth and creativity. The next time you find yourself in a toxic interaction, remember the wise carpenter within you, ready to transform the problem into a piece of the grand puzzle that is your life. 10. Avoid unnecessary arguments. Envision a tranquil lake on a still day, the surface smooth and undisturbed. Engaging in unnecessary arguments with toxic people is like throwing stones into that serene water, creating ripples that disturb your inner calm. Instead of getting drawn into conflicts, practice the art of choosing your battles. Not every provocation warrants a response. By maintaining your composure and staying silent, you can often diffuse the situation and preserve your peace. Ask yourself, is this worth my energy? If the answer is no, let it go and keep your lake calm and undisturbed. 11. Detection of False Cordiality Imagine walking through a forest where some plants are nourishing while others are toxic. The challenge lies in distinguishing between the two. Similarly, in social interactions, some people may wear a mask of false cordiality, pretending to be kind while harboring ill intentions. Sharpen your discernment to recognize this insincerity. Look beyond the superficial words and observe their actions and consistency. Genuine kindness and support are like sturdy trees that stand firm over time, while false cordiality is like a deceptive, brightly colored plant that withers quickly. Trust your instincts and protect yourself by keeping a healthy distance from those who are not truly supportive. As we navigate the challenges posed by toxic individuals, 
remember that your power lies in your response. If you found these insights valuable, please like this video and share it with your family and friends. By doing so, you're not only supporting this channel, but also helping others find their path to resilience and peace. Don't forget to subscribe to the Socratic Sage Sanctuary for more wisdom and strategies on self-improvement. Be sure to check out our other videos on the channel to further enrich your journey. Let's dive deep into the world of self-growth together, leading more fulfilling and blissful lives. This journey will pave your road to success, helping you achieve your goals more effectively and with fewer obstacles. Join us and transform your life today.